Ladies and gentlemen, this is Adam Kokush here at the 2018 Libertarian National Convention, joined by my friend Daniel Behrman with Taxation is Theft dot Cards. This is his third Libertarian National Convention, and he is here bringing the message of Taxation is Theft. And I love this, making sure that we stay true to the hardcore principles, not deny this fundamental reality about government that if we could all just accept, we could move forward. Uh, I, I don't know why people even can object to this, but I will give you a chance to talk about that. Daniel, really excited to have you here. Uh, what is the purpose of taxation is theft dot cards? So really it's, uh, it's twofold. There's a merchandising thing, but then there's, it's really informational, but so it's fun for people who are already into taxation is theft. They like to get the t-shirts and stickers and everything, but it's really more informational. So we're trying to take the approach where we're trying to actually inform people and reach out to people who don't believe that taxation is theft in a way that we can actually convince them to realize it is because that's kind of a struggle. We, we, in the Libertarian Party, a lot of Libertarians even hate the statement because they think it drives away people that are not going to agree with that message. But instead of dropping that, what I like to do is say, okay, let me figure out how I can get you to accept the fact that taxation is theft. Because at the end of the day, Libertarians hate all these different programs, which I hate also, but taxation is what funds them all. And if you get rid of the taxation, the, the rest just kind of solves itself. So. I feel that there has been uh, a lot of this bullshit hand wringing in our movement because most of us are, you know, we became libertarians partly motivated by our own victimization by government. We're all nerdy nerds and weirdos and punks and misfits and outcasts, right. or at least at some level uh, intellectually of that nature, or victims of the state in some way. But I've I don't think I've ever heard anybody say, well, I didn't join the Libertarian Party because I heard them say taxation is theft. I've never heard anyone say, well, that really stopped me from considering libertarianism because I heard that taxation right. is theft. Is, is there any validity to the criticism of this as a slogan? I, I think what they're concerned about is not that hearing taxation is theft is going to drive people, well, um, let, let me take a let me take no, back. there's no validity to people criticizing this message whatsoever. Frankly, it's bullshit. I'll just say it for him because yeah. he's too damn humble. It's it's yeah. I mean, I, I think there's, I think there is validity to it if somebody says taxation is theft, but they don't know how to explain it to somebody that they're trying to bring into the party. So then somebody is just like, well, you're you're not explaining it properly. I don't get it. Okay, okay. And then they run away. Taxation is theft is a problem when people use it as a crutch. Yes. If I just want to get in your face and say taxation is theft, taxation is theft, and you're wrong for being a statist, then screw you because I don't have anything better. But if I can say taxation is theft because self-ownership and the non-aggression principle, peace, love, and, and harmony, and that's what's really behind libertarianism, right? That's a great gateway. Exactly. And there, there was a gentleman I sold it to this morning where he was, he was uh, you know, he said, well, taxation is theft, but without taxation, how are we going to pay for that? And I, and I almost cut him off and said roads, but he said things. So... But um, more roads. Yeah, but so so um, basically, what I told to him is, okay, you you pay all this money to government. Ninety five percent of it goes to absolute waste, and the few things that you do want out of it, wouldn't you rather just take your money and say, I'm going to pay for this directly, so I know what I'm getting, and I'm getting the right thing, and I'm I can decide who's going to give it to me, so I can get it of the right quality, and that is like. You know, so I might not be able to explain to him in five minutes that taxation is theft with self ownership and all these other things, but I can at least get him to see that, oh, maybe there's a better way. And taxation is theft was the conversation starter that got that going. So he was accepting of that, and we moved forward there from there, shook hands, and he was like, okay, that sounds pretty good. I'm going to look it up and, and get some more info. I got to go back to this like false fear of, of rejection because, like you said, you, you had a conversation, it started a conversation. You have to have a really low opinion of people that, to, to think that they're going to respond just in, in a way that makes them incapable of listening to anything you're saying just because you're sitting down with them as a fellow human being. Be nice. By the way, I think taxation is theft. We should talk about this. Like, if you're, if you're approaching from that way, you're not going to turn anybody off. I, I think some people, there are some people who are, you know, you say the wrong thing. Um, like, so, for example, let's say you just jump into a crowd of, uh, Trump supporters and you say, you know what, I think Hillary is great and let me tell you why, they're just going to stop listening at that point. So I think there is a little bit of validity to that, but it's it's also the scenario. Maybe if you got to a Trump supporter one-on-one -on -one and you tried that, and I'm not I'm not supporting either one of those just to make that clear, um, but it's it's, you know, it's, it, there is a certain dynamic. There is, you have to understand who you're talking to and, and what their understanding is. Um, because at the end of the day, a lot of people do think like they love government and they, they think that their taxes are paying for what they get from government. And so it's a, it's a wonderful thing. 
So this is your third national convention, and one of the cool things it's like taxation is theft is a thing in the movement. Every time someone says taxation is theft on the floor, everybody applauds. Like, hey, if you're ever struggling in a speech, seriously, if you're ever struggling in a speech in front of a group of libertarians, you stop and go, taxation is theft. You're, you're going to get a Cheers, just, applause. Yeah. Massive applause, yes. So did you have fun this weekend? What, what, what do you think of the convention? What, and, and what do you think we accomplished? Um, I think, so I've got two varying opinions. So the party, I think, is awesome. Like, I don't, I don't want to say anything bad about the party. But at the same time, I don't think, you know, we're going through elections and everyone's saying, okay, who's, who's going to be chair, who's going to be vice chair, and who's going to represent my voice the best? What I like to kind of say is, look, there's not a single person in this entire room that I would say has my exact voice on every single topic combined. So I don't think there is going to be my voice, like the, the party itself is not going to completely represent my voice, which is why I started my organization, Taxation is Theft. And if you feel that way, start your own organization and do your own thing, exactly like what you're doing. Um, and so, you know, the party is the party. It is what it is. And, and let it, I support it. I contribute to it and I wish them the best. Um, but I'm going to do my own thing, which is a little bit different. And I'm working with a bunch of other organizations that are doing their own things, which are a little bit different. So, um, you know, I think it's, it's, you, you know, this is really what's interesting about the Libertarian Party. So we talk about the government central planning and all this other stuff, and it's really bad. The Libertarian Party itself is kind of created around that same system, right? We're, we're voting, we're electing people, we're keeping our fingers crossed that all this money that we donate is going to be spent well in the future by the people that we, that we haven't seen their actual experience yet. Or, you know, we've seen their experience at lower levels within the party. So, um, and, and I'm not saying in any way that we're expecting them to rip us off the same way the government does. Um, but I think what it is, is if I can say, okay, look, I've got $100 in my pocket. Do I want to give it to the Libertarian Party? And, you know, they're going to do more or less what they're going to do or do i want to say you know what i have this totally different idea i want this used for a really specific pur purpose let me take it to the free market which would be something maybe that i created or maybe an organization that i support that's more directly related to a certain cause and i'm going to support that instead and i think that is you know as long as we're at the end of the at the end of the year we come back together here and meet as a libertarian party and we exchange all our, all our ideas and support each other i think that's really the best way to do it so it's decentralized and and you know put your money where your where your cause is and one more time the website is taxationstheft.cards and taxationstheft.info check it out because taxation, taxation is theft. theft thank you very much daniel appreciate your time thank you